The State Department to the United States of America is warning that the military and economic cooperation between Russia and China is quite alive and well. They say that the No Limits Partnership is going to be a threat to the United States of America and that the military of the USA and our allies must be ready to take on China at any moment in time. This is according to a Chinese official. He says that many Chinese grew up hearing a song that says, fine wine for friends, and shotguns for jackals. He continues that we advise the United States of America to listen to this song. After news broke that the United Kingdom would be sending a one-time check of 650 euros to low-income households today, I'm reminded of a meme that asks, I have a magic trick for you. I will give you three $600 checks, and over the next year, I will crash your 401k, You will pay $2,000 more each year in property tax. Your rent will increase. You'll pay $800 per year more in gas. And your groceries will cost $3,000 more. The meme asks, who am I? Of course, it's the United States government. And that is the joke that they pulled on us in this shell game. They said, sure. Oh, you're hurting American people. Well, we're going to fight and we're going to bicker between our fake political parties, and then we're going to give you a couple $600 checks. Look at all that we do for you. Well, sure, no one bickered about that we're sending $40 billion to Ukraine. No one really is bickering about who's setting up corporations over there and that government officials are funneling money to themselves through these corporations. But we're going to bicker about sending you three $600 checks going on. We have a violent crisis. I watched a video yesterday, and I don't think I should leave the link in the description because YouTube wouldn't like that. But you can go and you can search it out on Reddit. This video was an individual who got into a car crash. It looks like he crashed a, uh, you know, a fairly new Mustang. It was a convertible. Immediately after his crash, he started being looted by around 20 to 25 people. Now, The vision in your mind right now, the imagination that you are being given, isn't something that happened in Brazil or Venezuela or Cuba or uh, the Philippines. It didn't happen in Vietnam. It didn't happen in India. It happened in the United States of America. A man crashed his car and was immediately looted by 20 to 25 violent individuals. And then he tried to get out. He tried to put it in reverse and he tried to move forward. He unfortunately hit another vehicle in his attempt to escape, and then he was pulled from the car by these violent individuals, and he was kicked in the head, and he was beaten. This is happening in America. Look at the violence that we just endured at a family level over the course of the last couple of days. And then look at the mass uh, casualty events that we had take place over the last couple of weeks. We have to wake up one day and realize that this is not a safe area, a safe country. And it's not saying anything about your particular area. It's just the world. We live in a violent world where violence is enduring. 